Hey everybody, I am your host, Fanboy X. I am coming um, to you late, late at night with what I think is one of the best Batman stories ever written. Not the best, but one of the best. It should be on a top ten list at at least number two. It's part of the trade paperback. Legends of the Dark Knight, Alan Davis, refers to the artist. This is Detective Comics number 572, the Doomsday Book. This involves one of the world's greatest detectives ever, besides Batman. And you can see him in the background right here. Sherlock freaking homes starts out with a little noir-esque segment from Slam Bradley this guy comes to him for help looking for a girl doesn't really know who the guy is Crap hits the fan. Some guys try to take him out. And just when this guy and Slam Bradley are about to meet their maker, Batman and Robin swoop in. And it's all the awesome comic book combat sound effects you could ever hope for on a single page. They pull their fan out of the fire. Well, bad guy gets away with this unknown character. Batman and Robin leave, and Sam saunters off into the snow. I should also point out the story takes place around Christmas time. So we get some more of Slam's segment. It's a very noir, detective-esque thing. I freaking love it. It's like reading Dick Tracy all over again. He saves the girl. And then... We switch over to an interlude... Involving... Let's be honest, one of my least favorite DC characters, but that doesn't mean that he's entirely terrible either. It's just not on my top ten list. The Elongated Man. So we see this guy. Obviously has... He's a... Uh, Great-grand-nephew of... Bum, bum, bum... Professor Moriarty. And he's even using the famous air gun that uh, Moriarty always used to try to assassinate Sherlock. He always had a bust of himself placed in the window. Just like you see here in the story. Log it in, doing pretty good. And then, bam. Gets his tail handed to him. And that's when Slam and this girl Mary um, show up. And at some point in the story, we also find out that her last name is Watson. She is the great-granddaughter of Dr. Watson. Yes, folks. This is an awesome Batman story. And then, after their segment is over, we get Sherlock Holmes and the Adventure of the Red Leech. It's a great classic Sherlock Holmes story. He deduces everything about a guy. 
just by observing his behavior, as he always does. Talks about a mysterious figure pulling the strings of the underworld. Well, anybody who knows anything about Sherlock Holmes knows that that was Professor Moriarty. So we get an entire, I don't even know how many page spread of nothing but a Sherlock Holmes story. That ties right back into this. And then the story ends with them finally uncovering the plot of Moriarty's descendant. A plot to assassinate the Queen. Just as Professor Moriarty had attempted to 100 years earlier. And that's the story that plays out in the Sherlock Holmes portion of the story. So, military truck carrying bomb gets hijacked by Mori by evil nephew Moriarty, and this guy who is also a Moriarty, Thomas Moriarty. He, however, is a good guy. So it looks like the apple can in fact fall far from the tree. Um. So basically it falls to elongated man, Slim Bradley, and a very much green speedo clad Robin to battle evil descendant Moriarty and save good descendant Moriarty. And elongated man also stops the missile, turns his body into a parachute, and saves Robin. <laughs> Classic. We find out. Dum 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 dum. This guy. Inspector Foxborough is, in fact, working with Moriarty. Dun, dun, dun. This is the Doomsday Book. It's supposed to be this priceless heirloom, whatever, 100 year old book presented to the Queen, but it really contains a bomb. And so Foxborough puts out the word to the guy impersonating Batman. He's a security, he's an assassin, blah, blah, blah. Dirtbag. And we get an entire four panels. That pretty much sums up what I feel like playing those stealth portions of Batman, of the Batman Arkham games. There he is, fire! Bang, zing, scree! If you play the Batman Arkham games, I'm sure you can probably relate. Oh! So anyways, the queen is saved. Batman kicks the assassin out, one of the assassins out the door. Knocks the table over. Kicks the book a safe distance away. Boom. Queen Elizabeth is saved. Very much stylized Queen Elizabeth. Well, Professor Foxborough tries to make his escape when he is stopped by a silhouetted man at the door holding a cane. The man, freaking, um, Baritsu flips him. Bam! Smack on his face. Batman is surprised by who the stranger, but who could it be? It's a very, very old Sherlock Holmes. Very, like... In real life, at this point, he would be pushing up daisies. And the expression from Elongated Man, which should be made into a meme, says it all. So how is Sherlock Holmes still kicking? It can't be. I assure you, sir, it can and it is. Thanks to a proper diet, a certain distillation of royal jelly developed might be keeping days in the rarefied atmosphere of Tibet, where I keep my primary residence. Sure, we'll go with it, because 
it's a comic book, and it's Sherlock Holmes. So discussing the case and everything and every um, how um, Sherlock knew where to find Batman and apparently he also knows that Batman is Bruce Wayne. Dum dum dum. And you can see that he holds no ill will to Thomas Moriarty. Nonsense. You are Watson's great granddaughter. To this day, I miss him. And you are the other Moriarty, eh? Yes, sir. If there were some way to make this right, I nonsense. The fault is his, not yours. I'm glad to see that the strain of evil is not dominant in your family. <laughs> that is like one of the most Sherlock Holmes lines ever uttered. And he's perfectly happy with Watson's great granddaughter and. However, this guy's descended from Moriarty, tying the knot. Then he walks off, much to the chagrin of Ralph Dibney, who you know as the elongated man. Or, <clears throat> I should say might know. And he's got a million and one questions. And Batman just like, hey, let him go. He's earned his privacy. And elongated man can't really come up with a counter argument for that. The story ends with four of DC's best detectives walking off into the nut. Elongated Man, Batman, Robin, Slam Bradley, and Holmes, who previously departed. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One of my favorite all time Batman stories the doomsday book I highly recommend um, this entire trade paperback this is in hardcover actually um, Legend of the Dark Knight, Alan Davis. If you can't get the whole trade paperback, just go for Detective Comics number 500. Or, yeah, 572. It's like the 50th anniversary issue. And what a way to celebrate it. Detective Comics with Sherlock Holmes and Batman, who was inspired by Sherlock Holmes. It only seems fitting. And it's only elementary that you should pick up a copy of this book and read it. The game is afoot. Fanboy XO, we're now.